What's up guys, Okan here back at it with another video. So, this week we're going to be reviewing the game most recently released by Bethesda, and it is called Starfield. Yes, it's finally time to talk about Starfield. Now, full disclosure, this game was released like a month ago, I think, at this point. <sighs> I've been sort of taking my time with it. I still have yet to roll credits on this one, but I've put in over 24 hours, so I thought I'd go ahead and share my thoughts on what I've played so far. So without wasting any more time, let's get into it. Now, first things first, just point blank period, what did I think of this game? Well, you guys, I like this game so much. I've had plenty of good experiences with this title, and I've seen plenty of mixed reviews out there, but my experience has been pretty good so far. Now, I'm not gonna sit here and just say the game changed what games could be and sent me over the moon, pun not intended, but with me, I know what to expect with Bethesda games for the most part. And this was somewhat of the same formula, but with some extra sprinkled in. And I'll explain what I mean by that in sections below. Uh, but let's just start off with what I found the most interesting, interesting about this game, which is the gameplay. So when you're playing a Bethesda game, there's going to be lots of talking to people, lots of walking around, and some combat here and there between those other sections. I think with this title, there's a good mix of all those separate parts to create a pretty fun and engaging experience. While you will do a lot of talking to NPCs, giving you tasks to do, and having to engage in a lot of that can feel useless, I won't say there's too much of it because you can still almost entirely ignore that stuff if you want to and just, just explore because that's kind of what it feels like this game wants you to do more than anything. With that being said, there's about 1,000 planets in this game to travel to, so Bethesda really gave us a pretty big playground to mess around with. Now, I personally haven't done a bunch of exploring besides doing a handful of side quests that I got here and there, but what I have done outside of the main story is really cool mostly. Uh, moving on from that though, I do want to, to briefly talk, talk about um, the combat encounters because Bethesda games haven't been known to have great combat included in them for how often you get into fights. Now I know the Fallout games had the VAT system, which was the automated targeting system that was kind of their saving grace in those games. But from what I played of Skyrim, the fighting wasn't great, and they didn't have anything really close to VATS from what I remember. Here in Starfield, things feel fresh and precise, though. Shooting a gun feels better than it ever did in Fallout, and the guns pack a punch while pulling the trigger. There's also space combat, though. That's right, you're going to space, and you're going to be dogfighting quite a bit. And that is one thing I didn't find very fun about this game. I don't like how it feels personally, and I can't really break down why, but the ship combat just didn't feel great to me, and I avoided it as much as I could. Moving on from gameplay and combat, though, let's talk about how the game looked and performed. Now, I won't sit here and say these are groundbreaking visuals or anything along those lines, but again, comparing it to past Bethesda titles, I think it's a big step forward. The character models looked a lot better when you were having a conversation with someone, and their facial expressions were a lot more authentic looking to me. More important than that though, the game played really well. Bethesda is probably the most known studio for having glitchy games to the point where it's kind of a bad joke about them and it's kind of funny but at the same time it's kind of not because you shouldn't be constantly releasing games in a broken state. But I hardly encountered any glitches with this title. It would stutter sometimes without a doubt but it mostly held up well and I enjoyed how I was able to play without many hiccups. Finally, I want to get into the story for a second because I won't say the main story is very engaging because it's kind of not. So without spoiling, the, the plot of this game is essentially, it starts out with you being a miner and you're doing a job and you come across this artifact that gives you something of a vision. Fast forward a bit, you're working with an organization to collect more of these artifacts and you're thrown into the center of a space mystery. If it doesn't sound very interesting, it's because it's kind of not. Things in the first 30 minutes move so fast and weird. Like, you go from being a miner in on a planet in, like, a cave to owning a ship to being attacked in space by pirates 
to having to take out an enemy pirate camp in like 20 minutes of the game. If it sounds like a lot, it's because it is. And I'm sure they thought that would be kind of exhilarating. It's actually a bit overwhelming. And from then, you're just mostly sent on fetch quest as the main story. Like, go to this planet and get ABC. Then come back and get more coordinates. Then go to this planet and find XYZ. That's probably why I haven't finished the game yet, truthfully. And I don't want to make it seem like I'm not enjoying my time with this title. Because I definitely am. But the main story drags the game down more than anything else. Which is not what you want, in my opinion. So to kind of put a bow on this review, I want to say Starfield is a pretty engaging tile title about being a space a space sorry I can't talk about being a space explorer who's on a mission to discover something larger than oneself. Its story drags it down, but the gameplay is mostly engaging enough to keep you going as long as you avoid the space combat in my opinion. I want to say they went to infinity but not quite beyond with this one, and that's kind of okay because it's still a hell of a good time. But I think I'm going to go ahead and end the video there, guys. Uh, this was a pretty short review, I think. And I really hope you guys enjoyed this one because I enjoyed making it. I'm going to have more videos on the horizon soon, so keep your eyes peeled for that. Thank you so much for watching, as always. And if you did enjoy this vid, go ahead and like, subscribe, and stay tuned to see what type of content I take on next time. Later. Bye. 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 Bye.